Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a tool that will assist us when we're working with text. That tool is the text align command and what it does for us is it allows us to select multiple pieces of text and align it either left justified, center justified, right justified, whatever we need. But at the same time it also allows us to control spacing so that in addition to lining it up you know, based on the uh, orientation we'd like. It'll also let us control vertically the spacing between the text to help clean that up if that's required as well. So to demonstrate this, I've got some text on the screen. Right now this is all single line text, but it would also work with M text as well. And I've made it pretty obnoxious in that I've spaced the text kind of randomly, uh, both horizontally and vertically. And uh, what I'd like to do is clean this up so that all of these will be left justified perhaps under my construction notes and the spacing would be consistent between each, each piece of text. So to do this, the command that we will use is text align. And as I type this in, we see it, uh, the autocomplete locates that. I've got a couple of uh, settings that we can adjust when we go into the command. First, I can go into alignment and I could select what I'd like to use. So if I'd like to see center justified, right, or any of the other, you know, top left, bottom right, points we could select those we're gonna go ahead and stick with left which is our default uh, options I'm gonna go into because I'd like to control spacing I could go in and distribute the spacing from the furthest two pieces of text that are selected I could set a consistent spacing or I could maintain spacing both uh, vertical or horizontal as we go across in this case I'll say set spacing and I'm going to pick just eyeball two points on the screen to show it like from the bottom of one piece of text to where the top of the next piece of text should start. So we'll just take and pick those two points. That's the gap that I would like between my text. And when finished, I will use a crossing window to select all the objects that should be aligned. When done, I'll right click and click on enter. And then I can use the point option to pick two points to show it how I'd like to align them, uh, or I could select an existing piece of text on the screen and it will use that for me. So we'll go ahead and pick, and when we do, notice it uh, grabbed all of my text, it moved it up, it's maintaining that spacing. Based on the second point that I pick, it will uh, automatically align all of my text, left justified, uh, along that particular alignment. Now, uh, as we move around, you, you can see that it's not just aligning it, but it's also kind of reading the text in that as we move around from, say, left to right, we can see that some of the text uh, updates on the screen because I think as we move, it's going through and it's giving us, uh, you know, if we're starting to read left to right, well, then the first piece of text that it's going to read is adjust to grade, where if we're going top down, the first thing it's going to read is connect to existing structure. So kind of look at that. That could be a feature of the command you could exploit for other purposes, maybe to reorder some text or get the text just the way you want. So with this, I'm going to use uh, the function 8 key to lock on my ortho to go straight up and down. I will select that. Our text is now uh, perfectly left justified, and I've got consistent spacing from top to bottom all through a single command using text align. So hope this is helpful, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.